Dead spot ahead. Dead spot ahead. 100 meters off. Stop engine. Oh. We're here today at Smart Ship Australia simulating with five marine pilots, terminal operators and tug masters. We're testing the limits on these vessels that we're bringing alongside in the port of Mackay and Hay Point. We use state-of-the-art shipping simulation, running through the challenging scenarios over two days on the bridge of a ship and the tugs. We are trying all different types of weather conditions and different parameters, different strengths of the winds, different tides and visibility conditions. The ships that we're actually doing today in the simulator vary between 200 and up to 300 metres in length. By doing these simulations in a world-class training environment, we find our limits and improve safety and efficiency. Simulations for us are a very important part of our training program. Take forward, increase your port. In joint exercises with pilots and other stakeholders within the ports, we can show them what parameters we can provide as far as safety. We can communicate with other stakeholders in a, a measured format to come out with outcomes that everyone understands limits, everyone understands boundaries. We can find the breaking points, we can manage those, and we can also find where those limits are in a safe format by using simulators to reproduce an on-water scenario. We can do things here that we wouldn't be able to do in the real world because it would be too unsafe. When we're looking at efficiency, that could be, for example, uh, scheduling, because most of the ports we're dealing with, especially in Queensland, are tidal restricted ports. You can sometimes find out that maybe we can get more ships out on that high water, for example, than we have done in the past because we can schedule it differently. But also what we can do here, we can test future developments of the port. We can look ahead, you know, 10, 20 years. What will it look like with the development here? We might have a different layout of the port. What is the capacity of this port? What can we do to improve the safety? So that's a real benefit of using a simulator.